A quick disclaimer about the video you're about to view. The companies that I express inside here are not necessarily bad companies. I'm just using certain shoes as examples to show what type of shoes are not that great for parkour. They can all agree that shoes that they do make were not intended for parkour or the use of that kind of activity. So it doesn't mean that these companies are bad, it just means the shoes that they have created are not the best shoes for this specific sport. Some of these companies have made good shoes for this sport, and I recommend looking at those as well. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Francesco from Scottsdale Parkour and Freerunning. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about shoes. I get a lot of questions about these, so I'd like to clear up um, what I think is a good shoe for parkour and whatnot. So, basically you have to think about what kind or style of parkour you're going to be doing the most. Um, there are two different thoughts on it. Pretty much there are shoes with padding with a high heel or a drop zone as they call them. Um, those are really good for high impact stuff. Uh, and then there's the thinner shoes which are kind of more like your foot itself. So I have a preference for the thinner shoes. I like them because I like to walk around barefoot more and it just transfers over um, more to being barefoot. So that's my preference. However, I do sometimes like a little bit of extra padding as well when I'm doing other kinds of training, um, especially if I'm doing bigger jumps or going farther, high impact stuff. I do like a little bit more padding. So it just depends, but sometimes I'll still do the high impact stuff in the thinner shoes. Um, that being said, the best thing you can look for really is a shoe that has rubber all the way across of it, the bottom, and it's flat. Okay, You don't want it to have crazy grippy texture stuff or anything weird like that. The flatter it is, the better off you're going to have. All right. You also don't want to have any soft white foam like the Nike Freeze. Nike Freeze and the whole Nike Free line are horrible shoes for parkour. They might be pretty good for running if you like to do that in them, but they're just not great for the skill set. They're really slippery on metal, they're slippery on wood, it's hard to do climb ups in them or anything like that. So they're, in my opinion, a horrible shoe for parkour, not to mention the bottoms open up when you flip them open and that can catch on something as you're going over. You don't want that to happen um, and have a shoe malfunction or something like that. So just stay away from the Nike Freeze in general. Um, also, the anything split-toed, I'm not a big fan of that for parkour specifically. It's great for nature training, but if you're doing anything um, around 90 degree ledges and metal and things like that, you could easily catch a toe on something and that pulls it off to the side, whereas a closed-toed shoe, that does not happen. Um, I'm going to read to you a list of shoes that I think are pretty good for parkour. A really popular shoe right now is through Olo, that is O-L-L-O. -L -O. You'll see them on a link and I have a picture up here for you. Uh, they're pretty popular right now and they're doing really well. They have a nice solid rubber all the way across the bottom, a little bit of padding, not too thick, not too much of a raised heel I think at all. Um, and they're a shoe specifically made for parkour. The second one you can look at are the KOs. Uh, that has a lot more padding on it, a bit of a raised heel, but it has a really good grip in the front and a solid piece of rubber on it. And they're modeled after the Kalinji's, which were a really popular shoe in London. Um, the next one you can look at are the Adidas Original Men's Gazelle, um, or look up the Men's Gazelle OG. That's a really popular one of Alexander Zulev because he does a lot of different things. He does tricking, capoeira, break dancing, and parkour and free running all together. And so if you can have a shoe that can go across all those mediums without having to change it from one thing to the next, that's really important. Um, another one you can look at, again, is the Onitsuka Tigers. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these is that they're too thin on the then have a narrow right here and it drops right here. So I have a really potent, potential chance of rolling my ankle. That's me personally, that's not everybody. Um, the other one I want you to look at are the New Balance Flex Zones. Uh, I think those are pretty good. That's the one padded shoe that I actually like and I've had a lot of gains using that one, especially if I'm doing super far Kong Precisions or anything involving that kind of stuff. All right, I like the wider bottoms, has decent grip and Overall, I think they've been a pretty good shoe and they're not that expensive. Um, you can also look up the New Balance Minimus. Those are pretty popular and they are, have a flat bottom. I think there's essentially no drop on those, um, and, but they still have a little bit of padding in them, but there's no like raised heel. Um, last two, look up the Feyus. Those are pretty popular. You can get them at AmericanParkour.com. Um, make sure that you get the proper ones though because there's three different brands. There's 
the Feiyu Tiger Claw, the Feiyu Top Ones, and then there's the Feiyu Fei Low. These are the Feiyu Fei Low. I like these a lot better than the Tiger Claw or the Top One brands. Top One Tiger Claw, way cheaper. Um, the, this rubber on the bottom of the Fei Lows is higher quality rubber. Grips a lot better to pretty much everything I've been on. Um, padding inside feels better than in the Tiger Claws and the Top Ones. Uh, and the only thing I don't like about all the Feiyus is that in the back here, these little ridges right here, that's the only thing I don't like. Other than that, this shoe has been great to me. Um, final shoe to look at is any, uh, Vivo Barefoot has two different shoes. I don't remember what one of them is called, but the other one's called the Aqua Lights. These are super thin shoes, um, almost exactly like your foot. I think they're considered zero drop, zero padding, but they're really good for technique and uh, really good for cross medium training. Um, that's all I have for you, really. I hope this helps you out. Remember, stay away from the Nike Freeze. Those are shoes that are just not good. They have soft rubber on the bottom. Um, it doesn't even grip to anything. There's a little couple pieces on it, but there's just not enough on it. You want one solid piece across the bottom, and they don't want that thing to spread out on the bottom and catch something. So stay away from Nike Freeze. They're super, super, super slippery. Super bad for parkour. Have a nice day. See you in class.